All right, guys, I just want to do a quick video of how to uh, hook up a, a LCD display to the ESP8266. Um, it's, uh, first of all, of course, you're going to need three things. You're going to need the ESP8266 or the Node MCU. You're going to need a LCD display. This one happens to be a 4x20 display. And you're going to need four jumper wires. And make sure that the uh, LCD display that you're going to use is, is going to be uh, I2C. Otherwise, you're going to have a have to have a whole lot of pins here to be able to hook it up. And so this is going to make things a, a, a lot easier. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to hook up the... Um, let's see if I can get this a little bit better angle here so you can see what's going on. First thing you need to do is hook up the um, SCL pin. Right there, the bottom one. You're gonna need to hook up SCL, and that's gonna to go to the D1 pin, and that is located right there. There we go. So that is where the D1 pin is gonna be hooked up up to, and then you're gonna hook up the SDA to the pin right next to it. You're gonna hook it up to the D D2 pin on the on the node MCU. And then you're gonna have, of course, you're gonna have a ground and VCC. Uh, ground's gonna to go to ground, and the VCC is going to go right up here uh, to the VIN, V I N. Uh, and then of course your ground's gonna go go right next to it. Now <clears throat> Uh, if, think of it this way, the uh, Node MCU, it operates normally off of 3.3 volts. Uh, all the logic and everything is 3.3 volts. Um, but the LCD display, it operates off of 5 volts. And so what you actually have here on these on these pins right here is 5 volts coming in. It's coming in from your, your USB. And uh, so that's what's powering the, the uh, LCD is, is actually 5 volts. Um, now, you would, as you, some of you might be aware, this uh, I2C uh, adapter here is, is uh, operating off of 5 volts. So you actually have kind of a conflict here. You actually have this thing communicating at, at, at 5 volts and this right here communicating uh, over the I2C ports at 3.3 volts. Um, now, I've been running mine for at least a couple of weeks now and haven't had any problems. And from what research that I've been able to find on it, um, the it is just within the tolerance or, or more like right on the tolerance lines uh, uh, between the, uh, the Node MCU and what the uh, LCD can, can handle. Uh, but so far, like I say, I've been running it for at least two weeks now, and everything's been working fine. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you could use um, a uh, logic level shifter or something like, like this right here uh, to uh, uh, go between the two to be able to make sure you don't burn anything up. But like I say, I doubt you're going to have any problems with it. The next thing that you're going to have to make sure of is to down, download the right uh, library to control the uh, I2C uh, device. And uh, that's going to be this one right here. All you got to do is just, um, of course, go into um, managing your, your libraries. Uh, let's see, go up here to Sketch, Include Library, and Manage the Libraries. And then just do a, do a search for the um, I2C. Uh, library that you have there and if you type in liquid i squared c um what what you're going to have pull up is 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 the library that you need to install and I'll, as you can see here i've already installed it on, on my computer you're also going to have to make sure that uh of what uh i squared c address um your lcd display is is operating at as you can see, on, I actually wrote the address on, on the back of mine uh, so that I would uh, know it from here on out. And actually, both of these uh, operate on the same uh, address. 
but um, yours might very well be different. Um, they do make a, a scanning um, sketch that you can use. You can download it. I'm not exactly sure where I got this one from, but if you search the internet, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But it's just a uh, I squared C scanning tool. Um, you can use it for you know any I squared C device, and what it does, it just it just scans. Um, uh, once you hook up your I squared C device to your Arduino or or your ESP8266, I would probably suggest the Arduino. Uh, what it will do is scan uh, the the I squared C bus and try to find whatever devices are, are located on it, and then give you that address, and then you could just put that address in your in your code when you, when you need it. What I decided to do with uh, this uh, this device is actually, uh, as you can see, I've kind of got a somewhat poor enclosure here for right now. But anyway, I'm, I've been working on this, and what it what it does is it uh, goes to the National Data Buoy um, Center's website and downloads a um, a file that the ESP8266 does. Downloads that file, parses the data, and uh, finds a particular buoy uh, near me, and then um, it basically tells me uh, the wind direction, wind speed, wind gust, and the wave height and air temperature and other, it has a lot of, a lot of other data there that I'm not even displaying. But uh, anyway, it's kind of a neat little project that I'm, I'm uh, working on. I'll be probably putting this on the internet really soon too. So anyway, thanks for watching.